Hi, my name is Phil Leach and I'm the director of the online SBS programs, the Field-Based SBS and the ESBS. In this presentation, I want to take just a few moments to explain the difference between these two programs. Starting with the Field-Based SBS, this course is based on our regular residential U of N School of Biblical Studies. The credit earned for this course is the same in U of N terms as the uh, regular SBS, the residential school. Uh, we call it full learning week credit. Uh, the course in many, many ways is exactly the same as a regular SBS. The prerequisites for the field based SBS are firstly the successful completion of a discipleship training school. And secondly, the students need to be part of a regular base, a campus or team ministry within YWAM. Uh, they need to be involved in regular community worship and intercession times. This is in keeping with their values in the University of the Nations for our courses and students. And in addition, there needs to be an agreement between the base campus team leader that the student can give eight to ten hours of their working week to their studies. So what we're looking for in the field-based SBS is a three-way partnership between uh, us as the field-based SBS online staff, between the student and then the base team campus leader. Uh, what the field-based SBS is not is it is not the SBS as easy or light. The requirements and the work is just the same. But the difference is it's not in the classroom, of course, or not necessarily in the classroom. And it's usually done part-time. And what we have done is we've taken the regular SBS and broken it up into manageable units. So it better serves the part-time online environment. So this is how it works. In our regular SBS, uh, it's broken up into three 12-week 12 12 terms. And so you have term one, uh, and on completion you have 12 credits. Term 2 is the same, and then Term 3. With the field-based SBS, we have further broken it down into smaller units to better serve the online environment into what we could call bite-sized pieces. And so Module 1 is the equivalent of four weeks of the regular SBS, Module 2 the same, and module three the same. And so when you complete module three, you've completed the equivalent of the uh, 12 weeks of the regular residential school. And then we're able to uh, register you with the U of N records office and you get the, uh, the, the regular credit. Uh, and this is the same for uh, module four, uh, five and six. And then you have completed the equivalent of term two of the SBS. And we register you uh, for that uh, with the U of N records office. The same is module seven, eight and nine. And then when you completed module nine, we're able to register you for term three of the regular SBS. And so you would have completed the school. Now, each uh, registration with the U of N off Records Office happens after three of our modules. And so you do need to complete three modules before you get credit uh, for the, th those particular three modules. Uh, each module has a limit of 12 weeks to do it. It can be done quicker, uh, but not slower. And the time limit, remember, uh, is a gift because it keeps us focused 
keeps us moving and really helps us to get the work done. So now let's talk about the ESBS. The ESBS is designed for the wider body of Christ. Now it might it might serve some YWAMers who don't fit into the categories required for the field-based SBS, but as I've said, it's particularly designed for the wider body of Christ. The prerequisites for the ESBS are very general, mostly that people love the Lord and are committed into a Christian community, although we do recognise, of course, that some are in places of persecution and have to stay hidden, and therefore even this will be difficult, and of course we welcome such people too. Now, the ESBS uses the same material as the uh, field-based SBS, but we've broken it up into smaller units. In fact, uh, 17 different modules of different lengths. The reason for this is to serve uh, those who uh, are, are maybe busy with their business or uh, mothers at home, uh, church workers, students. Uh, we wanted to make it's uh, more accessible for such people with smaller uh, bite-sized chunks. Now, as far as the order of the modules is concerned, with the ESBS there's much more choice. We do uh, want our students to study module one and two first, and this is because it teaches the, uh, the inductive approach and the particular method that we use. And then after that foundation is laid, the following modules can be studied in almost any order. I say almost because to really understand Kings, it's important to know Deuteronomy and law material. And to understand the prophets, it's really important to know Hebrew poetry and the history of the Kings. So we ask you to do these books in that particular order, uh, otherwise... Uh, you can choose the order of the modules after modules 1 and 2. Uh, each unit or each book uh, has a time limit of six weeks. Uh, now note that's the individual book and unit, not the whole module. And again, we put a time limit on it to help and serve our students uh, to keep them moving in the work that they're doing. Regarding the credit received for the ESBS, this credit is in keeping with the University of the Nation's new Extension Studies courses. So the ESBS is, accredited, is an accredited course with the Extension Studies courses. Upon successful completion, you will receive the appropriate credit depending on the length of the module. We have some modules are three credit courses, some two, and some one. And these credits are in U of N language known as LCU credits, Learning Component Unit Credits. Each credit is 25 hours of focused learning activity. And the benefit of this is that should a student at some time in the future uh, want to use this credit towards a degree with the University of the Nations, then the uh, course and the credits will be evaluated and very possibly counted as transfer credits into that degree that they are pursuing. Upon the successful completion of a module, a certificate is awarded along with the grade and the number of credits earned. If you want more information, please would you visit our website, uh, onlinesbs.org, uh, where there's a lot of information and also uh, an email address. You can contact us and we'd be glad to answer your questions.